Hello guys, Nick Jones here for PBCastTV.com and NickJones.me, my blog. Sorry, I always forget um, what to say. Anyway, um, I thought, and I know it's been a long time since I've done a Linux application review, and I came across one about a month ago that I've been meaning to uh, review, and uh, today I think I'm going to do it. So, I know this is one of those applications where there is capabilities to do it, uh, do the function inside of the OS, but the cool thing is uh, it's so much better, it's so much easier to use, and uh, honestly, I just like it a lot better. And it's this application sitting over here in my launcher called Shutter. So we'll open it up. Shutter, you can download it in the Ubuntu Software Center as well as uh, their website, which I will bring up after this loads. It does have to uh, update its plugin information every time. So Here's the application, let's minimize this for a second, and here's their website, it's shutter-project.org, that is shutter-project.org, make sure to check it out, you can read their about page, you can download it straight from their website, and uh, if you use Flatter, uh, or you can donate, whatever you want to do, um, it's really cool, of course it's free, so let's head over to Shutter. Okay. So here it is. It looks like a pretty bland application right now because there's nothing happening. Up here at the top, your oh, actually, let's go through the file menu first. You've got File, uh, Edit, View, Screenshot. That probably gives away what it does. Go, and then Help. So this is an application I use a ton. The Selection tool, that's what I usually use. Uh, you can use the Desktop tool. You can use the Window, so you can take a screenshot of a window. Um, you can take a screenshot of your whole desktop, and then these buttons over here, you can capture uh, only a section of the window. Um, you can catch a cascade, cascading menu, which would be nice if you're still running the older version of GNOME. And then uh, you can actually take a screenshot of a website, and um, you can actually just type in the URL, which is pretty cool. Alright, so let's do the screenshot selection. Now, I know a lot of applications do this, and there's actually a screenshot tool built into GNOME, which is also uh, in Ubuntu, but let's go ahead and do this. So let's just say I want to take a screenshot of their website. I like doing it manually. You can do it however you want. So we'll do selection, and then it prompts you with this. It says, draw a rectangle uh, area using the mouse, take a screenshot, press the enter key, uh, press escape to quit. Um, and then you have all these other things here. Now look up here in the top left hand corner. If you can see that, uh, well actually it moves when you go up there, but this gives you precise screenshots, which is so awesome because I mean you can come up here and you can actually look at the pixels and you can get almost a direct exactly what you want. So that's pretty much to the corner. You're not guessing right here. I mean this shows you in so there you go, and then you just drag, 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 drag. And let's just say uh, we want to get right there. So we will hit enter on our keyboard. And there you go, the screenshot is done. It shows you the screenshot here. It actually automatically saves it to a predetermined location. So I actually just get mine to save to the pictures folder in Ubuntu, but you can do whatever you like if you want to save to the desktop, which would be nice uh, because. If most of the time, if I take a screenshot, it's either going to be on like my blog or Twitter or somewhere. Also, an interesting thing is you can edit this thing, so it brings it into something that looks a lot like GIMP. Uh, it really does look like GIMP, but cool thing is you can maybe make some, you know, you can highlight things. You can use the highlight tool. So this is cool if you wanted to point out something like uh, sometimes people need help with their mixer or something and I will highlight or I will point out something so that's an easy way to do it I think this is a pretty cool application let me got, let me know in the comments uh, what your favorite screenshot tool is if you use one if you just use the one in GNOME let me know um, but anyway guys this is a great application I love it you can also export it uh, supports I think a couple I think it supports maybe YFrog and uh, what's that one the immig imager or however you say that I am uh, whatever Jacob uses it a lot um, so just to show you guys you can come into your home folder here and uh, pictures and uh, there you go right there there's the picture that we took so it works great uh, produces great, great quality shots sometimes if you don't have your settings right uh, it'll come out pixelated or whatever anyway 
great application. Guys, make sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash thatnickjones. That's where you're going to keep up with me, um, whatever, throughout the days when I'm not doing a uh, podcast or uh, a YouTube video. Also, make sure to follow all my blog, subscribe to the RSS, things like that, nickjones.me. Um, just redid it. I like this theme a lot. It is, uh, if you guys are wondering, it is from... It's the Genesis Framework, which I think is from Studio Press, maybe? Not quite sure. Anyway, it's really clean. I like it. And then finally, you can check out pbcasttv.com. That's where all of our podcasts and things are. Um, as you can see, we just covered WWDC and E3 on Gadget Gurus last night. So guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'm Nick Jones. Hope to see you soon. Peace.